Welcome again to today's class. This day we want to continue with statistics. In the video before this, we were able to see introduction to statistics. Now we said that the next video we will look into is major central tendency. So we want to see what major central tendency is all about. Please, this is the Chidons Academy. As you watch this video and you enjoy it, please don't forget to click like button and click subscribe. It will not take your money or your MB. No, it will not take your megabytes or your money. So, it's just to help you get notified when we post more and more videos on this statistics. Back to the topic, measures of central tendency. What is measures of central tendency? Three things make it up. One, mean. Two, median. Three, mode. Mean, median, mode. Now, I want to see what this mean, median, mode is all about. Mean, median, mode. Now, in this video, we want to concentrate on mean, median, mode of raw or on group data. This video will concentrate on mean median mode of raw or ungrouped data. What do we mean by raw or ungrouped data? When do we say that a data is a raw or ungrouped data? This is when the data is listed out one after the other using command to separate one from another. Then for instance, when you have one, two, one, three, one, two, one, three, one, two, one, three, two, three, four, three, five. This type of data is said to be a raw data. Raw or ungrouped data. Why do we say it is raw or ungrouped data? It's because the data we are, list we are listed out using command to separate one from another. Now, this is a typical example of raw or ungrouped data. Okay? Now, you can be asked, how get the mean of this data? Mean, which is called the average of given distribution, is noted as by S equals to summation of X all over N. Okay? Now, since you say it's summation of X all over N, Summation of S means add up all these. 1 plus 2, 3, plus 1, 4, plus 3, 7, plus 2, 9, plus 3, 12, plus 4, 16, plus this. 16 plus 3 is 19, plus 5, 24. 3, 4, 7, 9, 12, 16, 19, 24. So it will be giving you 24. All over. How many are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All over 9. We repeat. Mean simply means summation of x over n. That is 24 over 9. How did we get 24? We say 1 plus 2, 3, plus 1, 4, plus 3, 7, plus 2, 9, plus 3, 12, plus 4, 16, plus 3, 19, plus 5, 24. 24 over 9. That would be your mean. What is your median? Median is noted to be the middle number after rearranging the data given to you in ascending or descending order. Median, as you said, is middle number, middle number after rearranging, after rearranging the given data, after rearranging the given data in ascending or descending order. So, we can either arrange it ascending order or arrange it descending order. Now, let's arrange in ascending order. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, 
what will be our median that is the middle number after rearranging in ascending or descending order now cancel 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 median equals to three then we we'll go to mode mode is equal to highest frequency occurrence highest frequency occurrence which of the data occur most one occur two times two occur two times three occur three times four once five once so from the data three occur three times you say mode equal to three note that raw or group data can be packaged in table form I can package this data in table form. Look at it. I can say here is score and here is frequency. One, two, three, four, five. One appear how many? Two times. Two appear how many? Two times. Three appear how many? Three times. Four appear how many? Once. Five appear one. I package it in a table form. Okay? So, you can have it in a raw form or group form. You can also package in a table form. This is still raw or on group data. Do you know that another way of getting your median of a raw data is by saying another way, median, you tell them that median equal to, I will get my M over 12 to n over 2 position if n is even or i say m plus 1 over 2 position if n is odd now what do we mean by if n is even we say okay one two three four five six seven eight nine the total n is nine we have nine to be the value of n so nine is it even or odd it's odd therefore add one to nine nine plus one all over two that will be ten over two fifth position fifth position so after rearranging in ascending order I'll count the first five. One, two, three, four, five. It falls here. If I come from the back, one, two, three, four, five. It's still four or three. That is another way of getting your media. So you can use this formula as the case may be. You can come to this table to get your median. I will say, okay, my median means fifth position. I will be adding the frequency to know where it will give me five. Two plus two, four. 4 plus 3, 5. And 2 plus 2, 4. We have not gotten 5. 4 plus number here will give you 5 will be inside this 3. Why? It is because 4 has not reached 5. So the 5 will be in this space, in this box. It will add from this 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 3, 5. So still 5 will fall in here. So you tell them that your median is is the three since this this is where the five falls your median will be the three okay so this is how to do uh, or to run set measures of central tendency of raw or group that let's see the question we have on the board in the question number one they say given the following data Given the following data, they find as if their mean is 30, median and mode. Okay? So, but before we solve it, please note that from that example I gave, where I said score and frequency, and I said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
two, two, three, one, one. Now, note from this table that how to get your mean will not be summation of s over m. Instead, it will be summation of f, x, all over summation of f. Where you multiply, the, you call this your x and call this your frequency. So you multiply the two. That will be this times this two plus, this times this four plus, this times this nine plus, this times this four plus, this times this five. So all over, how many are the frequency? Nine. 2, 6, 15, 19, 24. That would be 24 over 9. So know that when you have the raw data package in a table, this is how to get your mean. Now, back to the question we have. Now, in the question, they say, find as if their mean is 30. We say mean equal to summation of x over n. So, since mean is 30, it implies that 30 equal to, what is summation of S? Add up. 3 plus this, 9 plus this, 13 plus this, 16 plus this, 24 plus this, 20. Let's add. 3 plus this, 9 plus 4, 13 plus 3, 16 plus 5, 21 plus 2, 23 plus 1, 24 plus 7. 31 plus 9, 40. You have 40 plus x. All over, all over, how many are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All over 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All over 10. Now, cross multiply, we'll be having, we'll be having 300 equals to equals to 40 plus x okay therefore we now say our x should be what x equal to 300 minus 40 x equal to 260 so that means our s is 260 okay so what you now do is that you say let me write what I have. 3, 6, 4, 3, 5, 2, 1, 7, 9, 2, 6, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Rearranging in ascending order, I will start with 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 2, 6, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, how do we get the median? I'll just say. So two number will fall out. Therefore, four plus five up over two. That will be four. That one will be nine over two. That will be four point five. So median equal to four point five. So if two numbers fall at the middle, add the two and divide by two. Then what is the mode? Highest frequency occurrence. Highest frequency occurrence. Which number appear more? Check it. From this number, you can see that three appear more than once. Three appear two times. One, one. So mode will be equal to three. Because three appear more than once, but others appear once, once. So that is how to solve question number one. We go to